Hey everyone, it's Fitz with The Daily Delivery. I hope you're doing well. And today we're gonna to talk about a kind of neat basketball topic. And in a way, the topic has been right there the whole time. Every Daily Delivery, that is a classic K-State photo of the students in the 1940s up in the rafters at Nichols Gym with a banner that says, we want a field house. Then eventually they got their field house. Ahern Field House opened in 1950. K-State Hoops played there through the end of the 1988 season before moving to Bramlage Coliseum. 38 years in Bramlage. And they're at about 33, 32 years right now over in Bramlage. It's really incredible when you stop and think about it. But Ahern Field House isn't fit for athletic events anymore. It just isn't. You can't play a full-fledged basketball game in Ahern. It just, it's just too run down, too beaten up, uh, and too many expenses to get the place updated to play a game. But Texas recently played a game in its old arena or field house, whatever it is. It has a stage at the end. I love basketball courts that have a stage at the end. So it got me thinking. I got some tweets from people saying, hey, how about this? And I've been pretty steadfast to my thought that there's no way K-State ever goes back to Ahern Fieldhouse for one game because the expense is too much to retrofit the entire complex for that. But what if you did a students only game like Texas did and you only outfitted it for about 3000 seats? In other words, you put the court at the end of the field house where you played volleyball for many years, and now they play volleyball at Bramlage until the new volleyball arena is completed in the next couple years. You put a court down there, you trick it out with some stands and some bleachers, and you let the students, the students who have no memories of Ahern Fieldhouse, not even as a volleyball venue, those students who don't understand why us old farts loved the Fieldhouse so much. Because those 3,000 students in that arena for one game would figure out what an acoustical train wreck a Hernfield house was and how loud it can be. Here's my proposal. Once the university decides what to do with the field house, it's going to have to be repurposed or heaven forbid torn down. It's got to go. It's too expensive to fix up. They got to come up with a plan. And once they have that plan, one game for students only in the field house at one end, Maybe you can get Missouri in for the SEC challenge because Missouri was the last team to play the other last game in Ahern Fieldhouse. I don't know. It'd be pretty cool. What do you think?